Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. We've unboxed our DJI Spark, but those of you who know this channel and follow it know that I can rarely unbox anything without tearing it down, and this is no exception. It's time to tear it down. I'm gonna be using an iFixit toolkit. This video is not sponsored by iFixit, but you can get these on Amazon, and I will leave a link in the description below. I've also got some tweezers and pliers. I don't know if I'll need them, but I've got them here in case I need them. Now let's get started on the teardown. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing. Now let's get started on the teardown. So as the, of the publishing of this video, there are no teardowns on the internet that I've found. So some of this is gonna be experimenting. It looks like the first thing is we got two, four, six screws here that look like they are like an Allen, Allen head 1.5. So we're gonna take those out first. You have to be very careful when removing these screws as you're right next to the camera and gimbal. So we've got to be super careful to not tweak that too much. We're just going to do it enough to get the bit down in there. I'm actually going to get it, get the bit on the screw head first, and then I'll put my driver on there and loosen it. And I'm going to move the camera out of the way with my finger just a little bit so it doesn't rub on there a lot. And then we'll do the same with this side, move the camera out of the way a little bit. And we'll put the bit in there first and get it down in there on the head of the screw. Okay, it feels like it's there. And there we go. Okay, now we have those screws out. Let's see if the top comes off. Okay, the top doesn't come off yet. I'm going to assume that this is a little bit like the DJI Mavic Pro that's got clips in here. So we're gonna get some plastic pry tools and see if we can find the clips to pry the top off. You could hear one clip disengage there. So you wanna get your pry tool in there and push in with a good amount of force. And you can probably see right in there, there's a little clip you gotta push in. So I'm assuming we've got a few more of those in here. Once this clip is disengaged and you've kind of got it a little bit more loose, you can disengage the rest and pull up on the top like this, and it will just come off. You can see those clips on the edges. There's clips here and clips here. So this gives you a look inside the DJI Spark. We've got a very small fan here and a really nice looking heat sink here. It looks like this is gonna work great for dissipating the heat. So it looks like the fan blows heat through here and then it exhausts the heat out through these exhaust holes in the case. And here's a little bit closer look so you can see all the components inside. And next we're going, going to remove these screws and remove the fan and heat sink. And these screws just take a Phillips, probably a zero, zero or triple zero. So the fan has a little bit of adhesive, as you can see on there, and then you just move it, lift it straight up, and then we'll need to disengage the fan connector, which is located right there. Use a, a pair of mini needle nose pliers and just pull it off very, very gently. And the next thing we need to remove are the screws for this board and then we'll remove that board. And now that it's loose, we'll need to disengage this connector. And we'll do that just with our fingernail. And there we go and now this board is removed. Next, we'll remove the Wi-Fi cables. And then the remaining screws in this motherboard. Now we need to remove these two black screws as well to get to this connector down here, and then we should be able to pull out the motherboard. And we'll just pry this connector up gently. And there's two more connectors on this side of the motherboard that have some foil 
some foil tape over it, as well as looks like some sort of glue on the connections themselves. So you don't wanna do this step unless you really need to get this motherboard out, as you'll wanna make sure to re-glue these connectors back onto the motherboard. Now you can get a better view of the glue that kind of holds these connectors down. So we'll need to kind of pick some of that glue away to remove those connectors. So now we've finally gotten those connectors removed enough from the glue to get them fully off of the motherboard. So now we need to remove this connector and this connector. These connectors just pull straight up and you have to be very careful with these ones. There's just a few wires on these connectors and they're very easy to break. So those just pull straight up. Now we have one more connector with some glue on it. So we need to pick away a little bit of that glue enough to get the connector off and then the motherboard will come out. And there we have it. Now the motherboard is ready to be remo removed from the spark. Now most of the components are obviously covered by these shields, but you can get an idea of what it looks like underneath. And on the inside, you can see here are the wires that go out to the motors from the battery connector down here. We've got the Wi-Fi cables here, and then we also have the camera and gimbal assembly down here. We will not be removing that today. We also have some of the main camera boards and chips right in here. And that gives you an idea of what's all inside the DJI Spark. Thanks for watching my teardown of the DJI Spark. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy this type of video as we've got lots more coming. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and I will get to them when I can. And thanks for stopping by my channel.